Now, in this context, there is a, a rather new organization, the Indo-Pacific Quad, mm -hmm. with the US, India, Japan, and Australia. What is the role of this uh, institution? How do you see uh, the possibility maybe to enlarge it? This is one more club. <laughs> exactly. And uh, it's, uh, you know, every club has a purpose, every club has a context. Uh, uh, it, uh, it restarted because it was first attempted in uh, 2007 and didn't work out for some reasons. Uh, then in 2017, after a 10 year gap, it was restarted. Uh, and it has done well, you know, uh, because it was started at the level of uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the Secretary General, Permanent Secretary level. In 17, it became ministerial in 19. Uh, foreign minister and then uh, in 21 it has become prime minister or president uh, level uh, meeting. It has also uh, uh, created a very large number of uh, activities and outcomes and collaborative uh, uh, sort of uh, initiatives and these span a very uh, sort of uh, broad range. I mean it more it from 5G technology to connectivity to maritime domain awareness, to providing vaccines, to giving fellowships, uh, to doing HADR operations together. So I would say today there would be at least maybe 25, 30, minim maybe even more than that, uh, different clusters of uh, activities uh, uh, under the Quad. Uh, and uh, uh, certainly from our foreign policy perspective, uh, it's, it's been uh, a very big addition uh, to the sum total of what we do uh, globally. Uh, we hope in the coming days that we will have a, uh, a Quad Summit uh, uh, in, in the US. Uh, so that also tells you, uh, you know, how, how important in a way it has, uh, it has become. Uh, so uh, in a, if you ask me why did it happen, Again, as I said, you know, these four countries who are market economies, who are political democracies, who in many ways have common approach to international relations, at least, and are comfortable with each other, felt that our coming together would stabilize the Indo-Pacific region, uh, would uh, uh, create a, a climate of uh, predictability and stability and security which is necessary for, for uh, continued growth and prosperity there. And I think when I look back, uh, you know, the last seven years, I think it was a, it was a very good, very wise decision uh, that we took. I, uh, you know, initially like anything new which appears, uh, there were questions, you know, ASEAN countries, for example, wondered what does it, what implication does it have for them. Uh, but I would say with the passage of time, they, you know, there is an uh, increasing reassurance in much of the uh, Indo-Pacific that uh, actually this is a net uh, asset uh, to the region. And uh, uh, we certainly intend, and I, I sense the same with other Quad partners, we certainly intend to intensify it in the, in the times to come. Thank you very much.